Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying your Saturday and having a good weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today where I'm reading Bible in one year. I'm going to be reading Isaiah chapter 1 all the way through to chapter 3 and we are on day 196 of Bible in one year. And I just finished reading Song of Solomon chapter 8 yesterday where I read about the desire for communion with Christ. be reading out of the New King James Version. And at the end, I'm going to say a prayer for those that would like Jesus Christ to become their personal Lord and Savior. And um, you can repeat after me if you choose to do so. Let's get started. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1 through 31. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Alas, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a brood of evildoers, children who are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked to anger the Holy One of Israel. They have turned away backward. Why should you be stricken again? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faints from the sole of the foot even to the head. There is no soundness in it, and wounds and bruises are purifying sores. They have not been closed or bound up or sued with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Strangers devour your land in your presence, and it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. So the daughter of Zion is left as a booth in a vineyard, as a hut in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city, unless the order of hosts the Lord of hosts had left to us a very small remnant, we would have become like Sodom. We would have made like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of the fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or the lambs of goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the Sabbaths, and the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feast, my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. How the faithful city has become a harlot. It was full of justice, righteousness, lodged in it, but now murderers. Your silver has become dross, your wine mixed with water. Your princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loves bribes and follows after rewards. They do not defend the fatherless, nor cause the cause of the widow before them. Therefore, the Lord says, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will rid myself of my adversaries and take vengeance on my enemies. I will turn my hand against you and thoroughly purge away your dross and take away all your alloy. I will restore your judges as at the first, 
and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with justice and her penance with righteousness. The destruction of transgressors and of sinners shall be together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the terebinth trees, which you have desired, and you shall be embarrassed because of the gardens which you have chosen. For you shall be as a terebinth whose leaf fades and as a garden that has no water. The strong shall be as tender as the work of it as a spark. Both will burn together and no one shall quench them. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 through 22. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and rebuke many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. A house of Jacob, come and let us walk in the light of the Lord. For you have forsaken your people, the house of Jacob, because they are filled with eastern ways. They are soothsayers like the Philistines, and they are pleased with the children of foreigners. Their land is also full of silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is also full of horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is also full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, that which their own fingers have made. People bow down, and each man humbles himself. Therefore, do not forgive them. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. The lofty looks of men shall be humbled. The haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall come upon everything proud and lofty, upon everything lifted up, and it shall be brought low, upon all cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, upon every high tower, and upon every fortified wall, upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all the beautiful slopes. The loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day, and the idols shall utterly abolish. They shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth, from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty, when he arises to shake the earth mightily. And that day a man will cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each for himself, to worship to the moles and bats, to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the crags of the rugged rocks, from the terror of the Lord, and the glory of his majesty, when he arises to shake the earth mightily. Sever yourselves from such a man whose breath is in his nostrils, for of what account is he? Isaiah chapter 3, verse 1 through 26. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, takes away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stock and the store, the whole supply of bread and the whole supply of water, the mighty man of the man of war, the judge and the prophet, and the diviner and the elder, the captain of fifty and the honorable man, the counselor and the skillful alderson, and the expert enchanter. I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. The people will be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. The child will be insolent toward the elder, and the base toward the honorable. When a man takes hold of his brother in the house of his father, saying, You have clothing, you be our ruler, and let these ruins be under your power. And that day he will protest, saying, I cannot cure your ills, for in my house is neither food nor clothing. Do not make me a ruler of the people. For Jerusalem stumbled and Judah is fallen, because their tongue 
and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of his glory. The look on their countenance witnesses against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to their soul, for they have brought evil upon themselves. Say to the righteous that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe to the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. As for my people, children and their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, those who lead you cause you to err and destroy the way of your paths. The Lord stands up to plead and stands to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the elders of his people and his princes. For you have eaten up the vineyard. The plunder of the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people and grinding the faces of the poor, says the Lord, God of hosts? Moreover, the Lord says, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched necks and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go, making a jingling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will strike with a scab the crown of the heads of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will uncover their secret parts. And that day, the Lord will take away the finery, the jingling anklets, the scarves, and the crescents, the pendants, the bracelets, and the veils, the headdresses, the leg ornaments, and the headbands, the perfume boxes, the charms, and the rings, the nose jewels, the festal apparel, and the mantles, the outer garments, the purses, and the mirrors, the fine linen, the turbans, and the robes. And so it shall be. Instead of a sweet smell, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well-set hair, baldness. Instead of a rich robe, a girding of sackcloth, and branding instead of beauty. Your men shall fall by the sword, and your mighty in the war. Her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit on the ground. And that concludes today's reading. It says in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3, He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. God designed a life of faith to be a community affair. He teaches us his ways so that we can walk in his path. If you're trying to do it alone in your faith, you'll never grow as God wants you to. Well, if you have any questions about today's reading, please send me a comment below and I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can. I said at the beginning, if Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior and you'd like him to be, then I would say a prayer at the end. And I'm going to say a prayer right now and you can repeat after me if you choose to make this decision. So let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking you for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross for me at Calvary that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And I ask right now that you come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life. Because your word is truth, I confess with my mouth that I am born again. And cleansed by the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. Well, if you've prayed that prayer, let me know. You've made one of the best decisions of your life. It definitely says in Luke that when one person repents, that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. And you can rest assured that your name is written in the book of life. And when you come near death, you are going to be spending eternity in heaven with Christ when you die. So what peace you should have right now. Please go out and spread the good news and tell others of what Jesus Christ has done for you. And for those that did not pray that prayer and would like more information on how to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, Please also send me a comment below and I'll get you all the resources and information that you need. 
Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. I sure do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Please join me again on my channel tomorrow, and remember to hit that notification bell, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we sip on tea, so flavory, eat, treat, so savory, and enjoy reading these books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a blessed weekend. Until next time.